guys, Emma. Today's video is going to be a haul, and this is going to be my first winter haul of this season. So this haul is going to include fashion and beauty items. Um, it's not going to be too big, which I'm glad about because most of my hauls are so long. I like long hauls, but I don't know about the rest of the population, so I'm just going to stick with like a mid mid length haul so I think that will be good. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started into what I've gotten recently. So the first store that I'm going to show you is from a website called lookbookstore.com. This is literally a Tumblr viewers dream like I can't it's it's a dream so when you're on tumblr and you have all those cute outfits that you see and you just like repost I kind of forgot what it's called I don't use tumblr that much evidently but yeah this is where a website where it's literally tumblr clothes that you can buy and it, it and it's fantastic let me just tell you all the clothes that I got I love so incredibly much and the first one looks like this this black scarf and it has a really deep V and it kinda is like varsity style it doesn't it doesn't have like varsity letters but I guess the striping is I think what reminds me of it on the sleeves it has these little white and black stripes as well and it's just very big and comfortable, really cute with leggings, just like a chill day. It's so cute. I love this so much. And I definitely have seen this on Tumblr. And then finally, when I saw it on the website, I was like, my dreams, my dreams are reality now when I get this in the mail. So, yeah. This is the next thing that I got from there. And I featured this in my last video. And it's just this white peplum style top. And it just looks like this. It's long sleeve. The material is really, really awesome. It's like a cotton and polyester blend, I think. But it just feels such good quality and just, it's really nice. And so the little peplum looks like this. And then the second part of it is like a chiffon. And I just think this looks so nice and just good quality. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. And you can definitely make it more casual or a lot more, what's the other word for opposite of casual? Dressy. You can make it a lot more dressy. Next thing that I got from Lookbook Store is this jacket. And when I wore this, I was like, I was in love with my outfit, but my whole family told me I looked like a safari like host or whatever they are, a safari guy. But I don't care. So it just looks like this, and when you zip it up, it just really cinches at the waist and it makes like you give that hourglass look, and then it just rolls up on the sleeves. And, yeah, I think it's so cute. I needed more jackets, and I don't have any, like, khaki color jackets, so I'm really excited about this, and I think it's so adorable. Next up, this looks kind of funky, and I still haven't worn this yet. I need to figure out, like, a day where I'm really confident and just, you know, we'll just work with the, what you got. I mean, this is cute, but, you know, like, when you wear those funky pieces of clothing, and it's just, like, different style than a lot of people. You just have to be confident in yourself and just work it. So that's pretty much what this is. It's just army green, and then it cinches at the back to make it more flattering and it just kind of flows out it's like a green polyester type cardigan it's like an army jacket mixed with a kimono mixed with a cardigan I don't know how to explain it but it's very cute and I'll have all these products linked down below so you can see what they look like on the model and stuff like that so yeah I don't have time to do a try and haul or else I would sorry about that but I love this I just need to figure out a day to wear it <laughs> And then the last thing is this sweater, and I haven't worn this yet either because it fits me a little awkwardly in the shoulders because it's like really wide and I naturally don't have wide shoulders at all. I see this all over Tumblr and it's like a pup peplum, I said peplum, and it has a fur right here. So it just has this little kind of shoelace kind of style detailing in the middle and then it just cinches off at the waist. And this looks like it would be really flattering, and it would be if the shoulders weren't so big. But this is definitely just like a chill around the house with leggings, jeans, and yeah, with a scarf would be really cute. Maybe like a pop of color scarf, so. It's very, very good quality and very warm. Um, everything on this website is the best quality I've ever gotten from like something from China. The quality is really, really good for something like that. Two of these pieces are actually from my costume that I wore for Halloween, which was Elsa. I mean, Anna. Sorry, I'm out of it. My whole costume I made myself, and then a lot of them I can rewear. So the first thing that I have is just, it's kind of wrinkled. It was just this really pretty sky blue shirt, and it's so wrinkled right now. But it's so soft, and I just think it's really cute with scarves, and it's just a good layering piece. I've worn it under this blazer, and it's really cute. So yeah, I just got this light blue soft shirt. And then also I got this maxi skirt, and this is just like this cobalt blue color. Um, I wore it in my fall morning routine, and I really like the color of it. It's so pretty, and I think it's very in trend for winter. So I think this is so cute. I really love it, and I just love maxi skirts. They're so easy, and they definitely look dressy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really like maxi skirts, so I got this one. And it was a really good deal. It was like $12 or something, so I was like, score. 
And then the next thing I got there was not part of my costume. And once you see it, you'll know. Okay, haha. <laughs> well, now that you saw that, it is a bodysuit. And it just looks like this. It's like a leotard, and it's this really pretty floral pattern. And these are more fall colors. I wore this a lot in the fall, but I guess I'm just now showing you. But I still wanted to show you guys this, because I think it's so cute. So it's just short-sleeved, and it's scoop neck in the front and the back. And then, yeah, it's just the leotard. I really like these because they don't come untucked out of your jeans or your shorts, skirts, stuff like that. So it just looks all, like, nice, tight, and tucked in all the time. So that's why I really like these leotard-type things. Next thing that I have in this haul is a scarf. And I love this scarf so much. So these blanket plaid style scarves have been so in trend lately. And this one is just kind of like that Burberry print is just like the tan with the black and the burgundy it's so pretty it has little tassels at the bottom um, I wish it was like a little bigger because I just love big scarves but this is definitely very slim and it looks very sophisticated and nice I really like this it's the softest material oh it's so comfortable and warm so I love this it's from a website called mooncats.com I know it's a funky name but it's based off in New York and they have so many different styles they have like circle scarves like bigger more type blanket scarves um, they have just like the streamlined, straight, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They have that kind and tons of different patterns. And I just love the website and I also have a coupon code for you guys. So this coupon code allows you to get $20 off a $50 order until December 24th, 2014 and the code is a black 20 beauty guru. Make sure to check out that website down below if you're really interested in scarves and you're a scarf lover like myself, especially in the winter time. Really all season I love scarves, but definitely in the winter it is like it's where it gets the most crazy and I get the most obsessed. So I've been loving this scarf. The next up, I went to Target, and this is a burgundy tank top. It's really pretty. I know this looks summery, but I wear cardigans over it. Um, so it's just burgundy. It's kind of burnt out, and then it has lace on the sides like that, just little cutouts. It's really cute. I just like getting tank tops to put under cardigans and blazers and stuff like that. So this was on sale, too, for like $5, I think. Great deal. So I got another maxi skirt, and this one was on sale also. And it's just black and like a cream color, and it's like sticky together. But yeah, this is the pattern. Sorry I'm kind of close up so I can't give you like the full look. But it's just like a tribal print. It's really cute and I'm loving it. Okay, lastly I'm going to show you the BoxyCharm for the month of November. I'm going to go through it quickly because I want to go to Target with my mom and she's leaving soon. So if you guys don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's a monthly subscription that is kind of like Ipsy and Birchbox, but it's $21 a month and you always get full-size products. And every single month that I've gotten a BoxyCharm, it's over, well over $100 value. And you pay $21 in the products I use every day. The first thing in this November BoxyCharm is a blush and this is the Ofra blush and it's in paradise pink and with the name you wouldn't think that it'd be like acceptable or look very nice in the winter but it actually gives you that bright pink but not too bright like you've been out in the snow and you're kind of cold look um I swatched it on my hand earlier because I've had to film this like three times but yeah this is what it looks like I love it and it retails for where's my thing oh it retails for $25, which pays for the box and more. Also in here, it's very different, but it's cool, and I haven't tried this out yet, and I'm excited to, and it's the Kevin Murphy Color Bug, and mine's in the purple shade. So this is, let's see how much, this is $20 to $25. I guess it depends. Um, I've seen on Instagram that you can either get this in purple, white, or gold. At least that's what they're selling in the BoxyCharm. So I'm going to open it and see what this looks like. Oh wow, yeah, it's this really bright purple, kind of similar to those hair chalks. And I know dyeing your hair like lilac and just dyeing your hair like dip dyeing at the bottom is really in trend and popular lately. So I can see why a lot of people would really like this. Next up in here is from Terrina Tarantino, and I have grown to love this brand so much. It's been in a lot of boxy charms, and the packaging of these are just so nice, and the products are amazing as well. And this is their um, Eyelicity Glitter Liner, and I got mine in the black. And as you can see, the packaging is just so sleek. So this is just a black liner, but it has glitters in it, and they're like a kind of reddish and blue and green. And um, if yours looks kind of like mixed up, and it looks like you don't have a lot, just kind of mix it around, I guess, to get all the glitters together. So, yeah, just do that if it's all clumped, because glitter liners tend to do that. It's definitely not really pigmented, but I think this would be really pretty to put over a black liner to just give you, like, a glittery look, and I think this is really pretty for the holidays. And this was um, $16 full price. Next up is probably my favorite thing in this box, and this is the Mica Beauty Eyeshadow Primer, and you guys won't even believe the price. $44.95. $45 for an eyeshadow primer. 
that is insane. So this better do some this better do some priming. And this just kind of looks like a MAC paint pot. And I'm really excited about this because I ran out of just like a skin toned primer. I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, but I don't have like a good quality just skin tone that's good for like if you want to do a matte look. So I'm really excited about this. I've used it and I love it. It's very sticky and tacky and really keeps your shadows on. Kind of reminds me of a concealer, but. I'm so happy about this. So now I have like a $45 primer. I'm really excited about it. And last up in here is a Belly Pierre Shimmer Powder and this retails for $15. This is full size. Everything in this box is full size. And I got mine in the shade Reluctance and it's just a hunter green. I really like hunter greens for my eye color which is brown if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, this is very pigmented and it's just shimmery and gorgeous so I'm not going to swatch it because I like that swatch was terrible. <laughs> but yeah, this is awesome and it is $15, but I think I said that. So yeah, that is the last thing in this box. Definitely make sure to check out BoxyCharm. As you can see, all the products are amazing and this happens every month. Like, I get so excited when it's in my mailbox. I check every day. It usually comes at the middle of the month for me. And I'm at the mailbox every day right when the mailman comes because I love my BoxyCharm. That is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't think that was as short as I planned on, but I guess this always happens to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give me a thumbs up. I wasn't planning on saying that, but thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.